Coming up, we've got an update on the Wizards of Waverly Place sequel series. Plus also, is Rosario Dawson returning to Marvel? All that and more coming up in today's Disney Plus news. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's time for a quick Disney Plus news roundup. Let's start off with talking about the brand new Wizards of Waverly Place sequel series, which is called Wizards Beyond Waverly Place, which continues the story of an adult Justin who has chosen to lead a normal mortal life with his family. But when Justin's sister Alex brings Billy to his home seeking help, Justin realizes he must dust off his magical skills to mentor the wizard in training while also juggling his everyday responsibilities and safeguarding the future of the wizard world. This brand new series will see David Henry return to reprise his role of Justin and also Selena Gomez will also be returning for the new show where she'll be reprising her role of Alex, though she will only be making generally guest appearances though she is an executive producer on the series. Now recently during an interview with Us Weekly, David was asked about the series where he went on to reveal um, how he's enjoyed working together again with Selena, where he went on to say, it was awesome. We didn't want it to end. It was great. She's so good. She has such a quick wit and that's only gotten stronger. We had a couple of scenes that I think will choke up the original fan of the original show and they're really touching and they really went well so I'm excited for you to see it. So this brand new series is set to arrive on the Disney Channel and on Disney Plus later this year. Obviously with these kind of shows they can flip them around a little bit quicker, get a little bit more cheaper to make. But yeah, so this one is a continuation. It's kind of like a revival but at the same time it's still very much in the same vein of what that original show was which you can watch on Disney Plus now but I'm nice to see them kind of getting along and kind of continuing on the series like I said it definitely feels like the tone of it is going to be a Disney Channel show aimed for new kids but obviously I think our original fans of the show are going to enjoy it nice to see that they're working together and they've enjoyed it didn't really think anything other than that that would be the case but Great to see. If you're a fan of Wizards of Waverly Place, let me know in the comments below if you're excited about this brand new series. Fifteen years now, let's now talk about Rosario Dawson, who is very open to returning to Marvel to want to play play Claire. Now, she appeared in a whole host of the Defenders era series, including Daredevil, Iron Fist, also Luke Cage. And yeah, she's very much open to returning because recently during a fan expo event in Boston, she kind of spoke about the fact of returning where she went on to say, have to say it's one of the things that I signed up the most for while I was here. It's so great to be able to spend time with Jep and we had dinner last night and I got to see Vincent and Charlie and everyone so I absolutely love it. I would love to hang out with them and play with them again. That was such a great time and you know Marvel, Disney, they got my number, they know where I am. Now this was very interesting. The fact that they've met up while they were doing this fan event and having a talk definitely kind of sets the juices flowing for the idea of her returning. We're already seeing other characters returning, including the Punisher, we're also going to get Foggy, and Karen is coming back. So it makes sense in some way. Like if they could bring her back, and she's willing to, obviously as well, she's very much in the Disney family. We're doing a Soka series. She's also in you know, a whole host of other things, like Dope Sick, where she was fantastic in that one. I really wouldn't be at all surprised if she does return, because if she's willing to do it, and um, if obviously you know it can fit around her schedule and working with Disney and stuff, you know maybe if it's just a cameo or something like that in the first season of Daredevil: Born Again, but maybe in the second season or future season she could be in it again. I think this would be really good for them to kind of reunite a lot of these characters. She was great in the show, and if she's willing, and I mean they're definitely putting it out there that you know that she wants to come back, and I think very openly being honest about it, which is good. And I, I think this is going to happen. If they're bringing back everybody else, you know, you've got the Punisher coming back, why not bring her back, especially if she's willing to do it. But also, at the end of the day, she's kind of, you know, fishing around for jobs and stuff. But, yeah, why not? I mean, I think it'd be a good good role for her to continue with. But let me know, would you like to see Rosario Dawson return as Claire for the um, brand new Marvel series on Disney Plus? Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Shifting gears now, let's now talk about what's new on Disney Plus today. So obviously with Vivian Monday, no major new releases around the world, but over the weekend we did get a brand new episode of Doc 2. So this was the finale. This was the season finale. We know that they've already filmed the second season. That's going to be coming next year. There's going to be a Christmas special coming out on Christmas Day. But I kind of wanted to jump in and talk a little bit about the finale. From my point of view, I have been a Doctor Who fan since as far back as I can remember. My first Doctor um, really was Sylvester McCoy, though I did used to watch some of the other ones before that as well. Um, the, I think it was Colin Baker and stuff. So I've been around for a long time, watched all the different seasons and stuff. Um, overall, I thought the finale kind of hit the point, you know, there was lots of good, nice 
stuff about it. There was a kind of a thing of like my gut reaction to it and I was a little bit like why do we keep going back and referencing this show from like the 60s, 70s? Um, this was supposed to be a reboot for a brand new generation and that kind of just keep harping back to the past and like triggering memories from it's a little bit like uh, should we be doing this? You know, this. You know, you're leaning in on a show with so much history, which you kind of feel like they do need to do. But at the same time, is that the best thing to be doing right now with a reboot to try and get people in on it and people watching it going, I don't know what that was. There was a whole scene where he went off to another planet and it was like he got picked up a spoon. And I actually first I, was, I watched the scene. I'm like, what was that? Well, I had to look online and I remind myself of what all the thing is. You know, they've got a thing about spoons apparently. And it was like, why are we, why is this doing this? What, what was the point of this? I mean, it didn't need to be there. I mean, the special effects and stuff, I mean, for, for a show, I mean, there's some real funny things with the, the kid on, on his um, scooter shooting. They brought back some characters as well, like Rose. I didn't quite see the point of why she was there and if she, you know, just helping out with, you know, shoplifting, why is she there at the end of it? There was lots of issues with it. The thing is with Doctor Who is you kind of got to take it with a bit of a pinch of so It's tongue in cheek. It's not supposed to be taken very seriously. It's, um, I think that's the thing with this show. The tone is not in line with like a lot of other shows that are out there where we take it a lot more seriously. If you're looking for plot hoes and things like that, you're going to, Doctor Who's just going to annoy you because there's that much stuff in there for that one. Overall, that was okay. I enjoyed the big boss in terms of the big dog that they fought. I thought that kind of made sense and what they did with it. I wasn't so keen on the fact of them recreating Rey Skywalker's from Star Wars thing where Ruby is just, un, you know, a nobody. There's nothing special about her. But at the same time, the mystery was driving this lord or this god crazy. Didn't make a lot of sense. And in one hand, I was glad that it didn't make her that, you know, there's anything really that special about her. And they obviously did the reuniting with her mum and stuff. All felt a bit rushed at the end, a bit quick. And I think they're obviously setting something up with the dad, whether or not that's connected to um, that 73 Yards episode, I think, with the Prime Minister. That could be something where they're going. I don't know. It's a very weird little thing. On one hand, I, it's like the whole thing of the entire universe coming around to the fact of the God just wanted to know who Ruby's mum was. Was like, really? That's, that's it, is it? Uh, I, 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 Doctor has this tendency to lean way too much on like trying to put the emphasis on just a random human that they're so important to the entire universe. And it's like, come on, move, can we move along from there? This whole series has been very bumpy, very bumpy. It's some good episodes, some bad episodes, some average episodes. That's pretty much like most seasons, actually. They're always a little bit up and down. I really liked um, Rogue. I thought that was good, though I did kind of question the fact of them doing like a love story for Doctor Who, because they generally have never really done that in the past with him really being that into anyone. Um, I did like the 73 Yards one. That one, that one was good. But overall, there's been some real clunky episodes. I enjoyed um, Dot and Bubble. Wasn't so keen on Space Babies. I thought that was awful. I wasn't so keen on Boom either. Um, but generally, it's been a bit up and down. I'm questioning really what's going to be going on going into the second season. We know it's going to be happening. We know it's already been filmed, so Disney are involved in that one. My big question is going to be, is will Disney continue with season three with BBC? I think BBC will carry on regardless. I think that's that will probably still happen. But the question is, is will Disney think that they got enough viewership to make it worthwhile? The, the amount of advertising that they did once the show launched says to me that they just stopped spending money on promoting it. They just, they just weren't spending any money doing that. Which is not a good sign. Obviously, this show is a little bit cheaper for them to make because it's co-produced. Um... I don't know. I'm just I don't know, I'm not convinced. If Disney pulled out, I wouldn't be at all surprised. I think it will still carry on. I think the BBC will still do it, but it's a bit iffy. I, I like some of it. I didn't like all of it. It's still fun to watch. It's, it's totally daft, totally stupid. But that's I'd probably say three and a half out of five overall. But did you watch Doctor Who? Would love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. And our question today, which comes from Andrew, who says, because they've stopped releasing Blu-ray discs in Australia and um, New Zealand, would the Planet of the Apes movie be coming to Disney Plus in New Zealand on Disney Plus faster than other regions? So in general, I would say no. You're going to be seeing it obviously released on digital platforms to buy and rent. I suspect it will be a global release at the same time everywhere. I don't think they'll want to be putting it on in some countries a little bit earlier, because at the end of the day, they want you to buy 
um, the digital versions and make more money that way putting it out early in one country just because you don't have physical they're moving on from that and I think now you've got to think it's digital and then Disney Plus. Disney Plus has become the new version of DVDs and digital is the premium thing that I want to get an extra bit of money out of it but no I don't think it's going to be arriving any quicker for Australia and New Zealand just because you don't have the physical discs because it's still going to come out on digital first. But if you've got a great question drop it in the, in the comments below if it's cool I'll pick it out for tomorrow's video. On that note guys thank you very much for watching go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com like follow and subscribe and I shall see you guys soon. Laters.